Good morning, Sean. Hey, Justin. What's up? Uh, you know, not a lot, man. I, uh, I, it's been way too long since I've been on the channel. It's been a, it's been a long time. How you been? How you feeling? Uh, man, I'm uh, I'm feeling fantastic. Uh, fan- fantastically. You, you look know? good. Thank you. It's, uh, I've been working on my diet, trying to live like a, a, a healthier lifestyle. Oh, dude, me too. Yeah. I mean, you think they just give bodies like this away? Am no, I right? No, no, not at all. Not even close. Yeah. So what's yeah. what's the change? What's going on? Like, what's different about this? Uh, you know, I'm trying to eat, you know, more more natural and, and organic foods, and that's kind of permeated into into my guitar playing. Really? So what's like the guitar equivalent eh, of eating whole uh, natural foods? So I think the guitar equivalent would be a, a natural harmonic. Arpeggio. I mean, there's nothing more. God, there's nothing more natural and or- organic than that. I think we should teach the people how to do that, <laughs> and I think we should do it in stages. Yeah, for sure. Okay, because it's kind of like jumping right in to the organic, healthy lifestyle. Oh, it's yeah. tough. You'll last to a week and you'll be right back to McDonald's. Yeah, you're gonna spend yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. You're just gonna feel terrible about yourself. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this into levels. That's right. We're gonna have. Uh, shopping in the frozen section at Whole Foods. That's right. Which is like you're trying. That's Are you right. doing a good job? You're doing a good job because you're taking a step in the positive direction. That's right, yeah. You're right? eating some Amy's, you yeah. know, getting down. Might not be, you know, long-term the best thing for you. Right. That's just going to be a regular old arpeggio, mm-hmm. right? Again, arpeggios being the natural organic foods of music. That's right. Then there's going to be, well, you know, we're not even going to talk about that. Let's just start with, uh, That's right. let's start with the first step. So We're in Whole Foods. We're in the frozen section. Right, right. It's so, a strange land. So all we're doing is, you know, we're holding a, a G chord. And then <clears throat> with your, your thumb, your index, your middle, and your ring finger, you're just going to place them on the, the E, A, D, and G strings, right? This is a super simple finger, pin, uh, finger picking. And you're just going to do thumb, index, ring, or thumb, index, middle, uh, ring, yeah. right? There so you go, yeah. Thumb, index, middle, ring. If you're feeling fancy, uh, when you hit down with your thumb, you can uh, pinch with your middle finger at the same time. There you go. Right. We're just going up and down a chord, arpeggio. Right. The simplest way That's right. to play. To get to, to start your, your healthy guitar life. Mm-hmm. Great. Right. And I'm happy for you. But don't stop there. That's, <laughs> that's right. Not, that's not it. And also that's don't, not gonna do a lot. Don't start lecturing people just because you started doing arpeggios. You played right? one G major yeah. arpeggio that's and right. you're like, you know. Yeah. You it, shop a whole food once and all of a sudden you like are, you know. You're one of those you're an people. Oh, like you go and you like buy as many of those like hemp grocery bags as you can. That's right. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. Right. nah, that's not yeah. gonna be you. No. It's not gonna be you. I know your kombucha is not locally sourced. Don't yeah. even, you know, not not quite. <laughs> uh, please. <laughs> okay. But now we're getting up to the next part, right? Which is the harmonic element. That's of right. It. Now you're now it's a little more like the real deal. That's right. Yeah. Now, now you're at the farmers. Market. That's right. Yeah. You're you're like you know you're you're being a little more conscious about what you what you put in mm-hmm. your body. You know, being a little more conscious about what we put in our guitar playing right. A now. little even more adventurous. Ooh. Like you're buying like roots of things. That's right. You're yeah. Just like eating. Yeah. Roots. You're, sir, you're supposed to boil that. Oh, you, know, hey, you know. Whatever. That's Nutrients right. are better that way. That's for sure. I read that uh, mm-hmm. on an article. <clears throat> yeah. So the first thing I think that, you know, we need to cover the, the technique of how we're going to make these harmonics and, and why these harmonics work, right? So you're going to take your index finger and your thumb, and that's all you're going to use to make these, these harmonics. Well, first, just the regular harmonics, 12th fret. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you just place any, your, any of your fingers over the 12th fret without actually depressing the string, if you just hover there and you strike the string, right, it, it makes that noise. If you strike the string and let go... It rings out a little bit. Keeps better, going. Right? Us- usually, if you play a note and you let go, it stops. Mm-hmm. It's the beauty of harmonics. Mm-hmm. Right. They they ring out. Mm-hmm. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know since we're gonna be holding a chord while we do this, we're gonna have to activate uh, the harmonic with our our right hand only. So your thumb is gonna be what hits the string. Uh, your index finger is gonna be what rests on the on the string. Right. So on the twelfth fret of the E string, the low E. I'm gonna hover my, my finger right over here. I'm barely touching the string. And then my thumb, preferably if you have a little bit of a nail, you can use that, uh, is just gonna hit the string. So I'm going to. And it takes almost no motion, right? It's a little flick of the thumb. That's right. There it is. It is easier if you, you have a little bit of a nail, um, but you can do it with the soft portion as well, like that. So the concept is that the 12th fret is where the natural harmonic on the, uh, the acoustic guitar lies, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's directly between uh, the scale length of the instrument, the right? The center point. So if you're holding down this G chord, right, 
uh, which is, you know, just in case anybody by chance doesn't know, right? So the middle finger is on the third fret. Yep. Uh, the index finger is on the second fret of the A string. And then I also put my ring finger on the third fret of the B string and my pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string. Um, not all the time when I play the chord, uh, but specifically for this harmonic, it makes it sound, sound a little cooler. So the concept is that whatever fret your finger is on, you're going to move 12 frets uh, uh, down, and that's where the harmonic will be. So for this G chord, if you're on the third fret, then the 15th fret, because 3 plus 12 is 15, there you that's go. where your harmonic is. The second fret of the A string, so we're going to do the 14th fret. The D string and the G string are open, so we're going to go 12th fret, 12th fret, and then 15th fret, 15th fret. Right? Feel good. This is, a, this is like a healing nature. Yeah, I, I, I mean, there. that's like that's like buying arugula for the first time, mm -hmm. you know? My immune system is thanking you that's right. just for being near that. That's right. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, uh, uh, once you move on from there, uh, you can do it with anything, right? And so, any open chord, too, we're talking about? That's right, really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, and if you, you know, uh, obviously once you start moving down here, there may not be enough frets down here, so you're going to have to, like, search for the harmonic somewhere mm -hmm. hovering around. Uh, yeah, but it's there. Yeah, it's like just because there. the fretboard runs out doesn't mean the length of the string stops. Right, that's right. You can always kind of like just explore. I mean, that's like some real stuff right there. It is, yeah. It's like you're like traveling to like Guatemala and making your own coffee beans. <laughs> I was going to say sourcing yeah. your own coffee. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. Mainly so that you can get your Instagram account popular enough to, to monetize it and yeah, sell it. Yeah, that's more what it's yeah, for sure. more what this is really about. Yeah. So, But we have a third level. That's right. The real deal level. So you've graduated from Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. and you know everybody at the farmer's market. That's right. You almost can't be seen there anymore. Oh, yeah. You just get mobbed. That's right. What time is it? What do you do now? What's the next evolution of healthy living? I think that you want to spread your healthy living to everyone and you open your own farm-to-table restaurant. Man, that's beautiful. Right. How do we do that? Uh, well, first I have to teach you my favorite open chord of all time, and that's the E major 9. What a um, treat. Yeah, if you guys uh, are, are new, you might not uh, remember, but um, in the in the early days of the arpeggio series, it was Power to the Pinky. And, it was. And that that is that is no, it's, it's just, just still true. The still Pinky's true. still there. Yeah. We weren't lying. So for this, uh, you're gonna make a, a normal E chord. I don't, I don't feel like I have to go over it, but you know, uh, so open E, second fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, first fret on the G string, open B and open E, right? E chord. Beautiful. So we're going to add uh, its major 9, and I since this chord doesn't have a, a major 7 in it, it's just going to be an add 9, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So we're going to take our pinky, and we're going to stretch it all the way here, and you, you're going to have to adjust your, well you might not, I have to adjust my hand. I can't keep it all the way up here. And yeah. we're going to put it on the 4th fret of uh, the D string. So we're replacing where our ring finger is with here. So Right in the ninth note in the key of E, which is F right. sharp. So the chord sounds like this. But when you add this nine, whew, I mean, that just sounds like, you know, uh, uh, being out in the woods. Man, to me. I love it. You know, it's beautiful. So following the lesson that we learned earlier, right? So the, the first harmonic is going to be on the 12th fret because it's an open string. Since the second note is on the uh, second fret of the A string, we're going to go right here to the 14th fret. We're going to have to reach pretty far down here to the 16th fret on the D string. 13th fret, so, and that's it. Now, I have uh, some friends who can actually use their thumb and their middle finger. If, if you've already experimented with this and this lesson is kind of uh, uh, below you, you know, you feel like you've already mastered it, I personally can't do it, but you can alternate with your thumb and your uh, middle finger in order to play them faster, mm -hmm. and then go back and forth, you know, chime, 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 chime. I'm not that guy. This is just the concept now. That's right, yeah. This is more about wholesome Wholesomeness, living. not, not you it's know, a little bit gratuitous. Of a yeah, yeah, it's like, come Am on. I right? Come uh, on, yeah. It's like those are the guys who are like, you know, like busting into like slaughterhouses and like saving the cows and stuff like that, which is great. That's you know? right, yeah. But it's a different just level. Pump, that's a different, that's a different, a it's a different ball yeah, game. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. I love it, man. It's a beautiful... It's a beautiful concept. That's right. So, I mean, because usually, you know, we go over, like, uh, sweeping arpeggios or connecting arpeggios. Or, or something just like fretboard spanning fret arpeggios. Sp yeah, Sometimes right. you need to simplify. Yeah, just play something beautiful. God. Yeah. So I encourage you uh, to write a chord progression, like a three-chord chord progression, 
Um, so two bars on one chord, one bar on another, one bar on another, and then <coughs> make some harmonics with them and just write your own song with a little harmonics. Yeah, acoustic or electric. Do the or, same thing. yeah, with electric, you put a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay. Oh, ooh, child. Man, there That's it is. Beautiful. Mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, everybody. That's right. Thank <laughs> you.